Hey everyone, Anders here with another Black Desert video. Good news today, Land of the Morning Light expansion is confirmed for next month in June. No hard date, but we can assume middle of the month to be more likely. As we get closer to release, I'll be uploading more of my Land of the Morning Light guides to make sure they are as up to date as possible for our release and global. Things are still getting tweaked on a weekly basis in Korea, but overall the expansion will bring an income boost for life skillers and an additional side content with Black Shrine the new boss rush mode i'll have a complete breakdown of my rewards in black shrine over the last couple of months soon so you can see what to expect now aside from the land of the morning light we did get a surprise addition to the Korean patch that is not in our live patch this week. It was also not in Global Labs. Should be added next week for Global Regions. This is the buff to all boss grade offhands in the game. You will now have an additional special attack damage plus 10% effect on those items. This affects critical damage, down attack, air attack, back attack. Those are all special attack modifiers. This means a significant boost in damage to all classes in both PvE and PvP. The reason they've done this is to counter the efficiency of green grade offhands in Elvia spots that were being used, but it also means more damage has been added to PvP in an already high damage meta. For this week, we got notice of an incoming Dark Rift event, so make sure to save your Dark Rifts from when that event starts next week, May 17. We got the new Horse Rider Helmet Pearl Outfit. The helmet itself gives you 15% mount XP, but the set, so the set effect with the helmet and the body piece that already exists, will give an additional 15% mount XP, making it incredibly powerful compared to before. Highly recommended if you're an AFK horse trainer. We can also now mass produce celerity drafts. Big news for Conquest War players, the Balanos Siege has been added back into the game and Siege gear caps have been changed. Instead of fighting over a castle in Balanos, the Balanos Siege will declare the winner to the guild or alliance with the most points at the end or the one that destroys all the other forts. With the shuffle of Siege gear caps, it is now the entry level Siege, so you have Balanos, then you have Medaya having slightly higher gear caps when both Valencia and Calfian having no gear caps whatsoever, meaning you can fully utilize the gear you've worked for. This is a great change for large scale PvP players. Let me know what you think in the comments. Now in terms of class balance, we have the Tamer Mana Recovery on hit buff, the Kuno Stamina buff, some skills also receive some PvE buffs for Kuno, Awakened Ninja got some minor PvE buffs as well, Awakened Sage got some PvE buffs, and Succession Nova got some much needed damage damage buffs in PvE as well. Sniper Hunting got the Land of the Morning Light mechanic change already, which is good. You can now test that out in the Sniper Hunting area in Balanos. The new method relies on your shots and not your mastery per se. Each body part will have a point breakdown, so headshots will give you zero points. Other parts will give you more points. The less points you accumulate by the time you take down the target, the more loot you will get. Monsters in Land of the Morning Light Sniper area charge at you when you first hit them, so it's fairly easy to actually get the max loot if you have a good rifle. I do highly recommend having a plus 10 blue grade sniper rifle before the Land of the Morning Light releases so you can be ready to craft that new yellow grade Marnie sniper rifle. For grind spot changes, Kurtuga mob density has increased. Elvia Saunal elite rotations have been nerfed by reducing the rare drops from elites and increasing the aggress consumed. This was only viable for good stamina management classes, but it was really good for the brief time it was allowed to exist. Their main reason behind the zone nerf is that the elite rotation was not the intended form of grinding that particular content so let me know if you took advantage of that area while it was available and your thoughts in the comments make sure to log in for some good rewards these next few weeks use the code from today's land of the morning light announcement to get a free pet and some buffs take advantage of the new gathering life skill event running for the next two weeks hot time buff for life skillers is also active for the next two weeks an imperial training delivery event is active so turning in horses will be more profitable for the next two weeks plus the added materials from event quest for the mythical horse attempts don't forget ellie's event lara's tulip event and the oasis event are all ending next week may 7th. And that's it for this patch. Let me know what you're looking forward to the most from the new continent expansion. And as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.